now from a camera that is nearby, about 20 miles south. So this is mile marker 204. Kelly was mentioning 222 to 228 closed. But regardless, this camera just outside of Levan really shows you that the road is getting covered. It's obviously dark, a little bit foggy, so take it slow out there, especially if you're heading along the I-15 corridor right now. That's right. So we're going to have still some additional snow overnight. So far, brand new. Snow reports coming in aren't that impressive, but just the timing of the storm and those higher passes are becoming really tough. Now for Bryce Cannon, we've seen about three and a half inches of snow for Boulder, three inches, Beaver, two inches for Logan Mountains, two inches of snow, Loa, one 1.7, so right near Capitol Reef. For Marysville, half of an inch. Goblin Valley, less than half of an inch. And for Tooele, about a quarter inch of snow through 5 o'clock. Through 10 o'clock tonight, we'll keep this snow going from about Nephi up through the Idaho border. And then into tomorrow morning, the storm is clearing, but we still have areas of fog in the forecast. Then throughout the day tomorrow, we're going to have clearing. By Friday, we end up with another quick moving system. So here's what I want you to know. We do have winter weather advisories for southern Utah through 8 o'clock tonight. For northern Utah, from Nephi all the way up through Ogden, winter weather advisories through 2 a.m. Slick roads expected right now. We're seeing them already for the evening drive, already causing some problems near Nephi. And then for the Wasatch Front, we also have several crashes in Utah County along I-15, likely because of the snow. Those roads Roads are becoming snow covered and we have slick spots out there. So for the Wasatch Front right now from about the airport further south, we have areas of snow currently. As I mentioned, Utah County seeing the bulk of the impacts for the Wasatch Front's evening commute. And then across southern Utah, we've had some thunderstorms moving through the St. George area. We were tracking that earlier in the hour. That cell has now moved over just approaching just west of Colorado City and Zion National Park. Now for Salt Lake, our precipitation is really going to be dropping off here in the next couple of hours. We're widespread right now, but by 9 o'clock, we're back to isolated to widely scattered. For Provo, you get another rush of precipitation around midnight tonight through about 2 a.m., and then things really begin to taper off. For Ogden, your chance of precipitation on Friday also goes up to widespread, and then a stronger, longer storm moves in late in the weekend into early next week. For Utah County, by Friday, quick system moves through, scattered. Then this weekend, a longer, stronger storm moves through. And for the St. George area, you see a break through the rest of this week until you get to the second half of the weekend and into early next week. So additional snow, northern valleys, one to four inches, northern mountains. We're looking at just a couple of inches for the central valleys, mainly one to two. Southern mountains trace to four. This is storm totals. And for the UNAs, we're looking at about one to two inches of snow. So ski resort's not going to be a major player, but tomorrow could be surprisingly good in the morning with just some nice, fresh softness on the top. Now for St. George, 51 tomorrow, 53 on Friday, and then rain, snow likely Sunday into Monday. And for the Wasatch Front, 38 tomorrow with hazy sunshine, 39 on Friday. Quick system moves through, stronger storm late in the weekend.